Yoel Romero was initially in talks to fight Jake Paul before signing with Bellator. Romero, who takes on Phil Davis at Bellator 266 this weekend, made the revelation through his translator in a recent interview. What happened was, initially Jake Paul wanted to do a fight with Yoel, but then when Yoel wanted to do it, the Paul team canceled the fight. Initially, they wanted to do the fight with Yoel. That was when he was just getting out of UFC. He had not signed with Bellator yet, and they said eventually, no, they don't want Yoel they decided to go with Ben Askren. They don't want to face a real fighter, Romero added. Jake and Logan Paul are just trying to make it a show, and they don't want to ruin their show. They're finding the easy fights. Even though Logan fought Mayweather, but the thing is, there's a huge weight difference. Justin Gaethje, meanwhile, isn't sold on current UFC lightweight champion Charles Oliveira. I'm not high on Oliveira yet, and I get a lot of for it, Gaethje said. He fought eight wins in a row, but at the end of the day, Tony Ferguson was the best win on that streak by far, and it was after I put him through 24 minutes and 15 seconds of straight and I didn't break Ferguson, he's not done. That dude is a special kind of dude, so he'll never be broken. But there's a certain way to fight that man, and I showed you how to do it. So that win isn't as great as it was, and it wasn't as great when I beat him, and he was on his 12-fight win streak. After that, it's just not as great, and that's just what I think. Gaethje also believes Dustin Poirier will come out on top if he faces Oliveira next. I'm in a great position, I don't have to win eight in a row, I've got to win one in a row. So if he wins, I would love to fight Charles Oliveira, because I will show you what I'm saying. He's a quitter. He is a quitter. He showed it to you in the Michael Chandler fight. At the end of the first round, he was not looking good. He didn't want to be there. He doesn't want to be there when it gets nasty. That's just what I think. That's my opinion. And Poirier is going to beat him up. A bantamweight headliner between Rafael Asuncao and Ricky Simon is reportedly set for a December 18th fight night event. Asuncao hasn't competed since a knockout loss to Cody Garbrandt last year, while Simon is on a three-fight winning streak and will look to earn the biggest win of his career thus far. Thanks all for checking out the Combat Crack Daily Updates on Combat Sports.